Hey guys, um, actually, you know these ECUs pretty well. That is an MS3 Mini from Dimi, from MS Labs, from Greek. A really nice friend of mine. Um, we are working, I think, since five to six, seven years really closely together. And I think I know him since 10 or 12 years. So it's a really long relationship. And we do a lot of projects together. We are working on, on control strategies and all the stuff. So we made the OBD ECU back in the days for the NBFL. So it can uh, um, respawn readiness codes. It can, it can uh, turn the flashlight on when something is wrong. It, um, it gets all the information of the car, like power steering pump and all the stuff. So the car mainly works like OEM. So I told Demi, hey, this is a solution I really would like to have for my MX-5 NAs and NBs also. And he said, okay, Jan, give me half a year. I'm just full with projects, but then I can do it. And he did it. So he made for us the Mini Plus. This is the point we call it. So it's actually a Mini, but with a little plus. Um, and the plus means it comes to all the idle control strategies. And we have like an internal white band. So you do not need any more. We like to use AEM white band sensors. So you just... But on this one, you do not need it. You just have the controller. Oh, you just have the controller actually built in. And you just need the LSU 4.9 from Bosch. Just use Genoe. All the other ones are not working. And it's fully controlled by the ECU, which means we can control the heat strategies and all that stuff. So we are absolutely 100% sure that we give a long lifetime, like a stock ECU is doing for the Lanta control. But that, that's not all of it. You know that screen actually. This is the normal Tuner Studio screen, screen, but we have the CAN One board, which means this is like the add-on which Demi made for us. There it comes to the internal wideband. We have like some chassis functions, so we can turn on your your uh, OBD cell um, if you want to use it. Uh, we can. Different, differently control the AC, we can differently control the fans, we can, we have like a power steering setting, so we say, okay, when this is getting in, just turn on the idle like this, but this is something I want to explain you in a, in a bit further. Um, we have like a different overrun settings that it's more accurate to a, to a normal car or to a, to a standard OEM car. We have the internal wideband setup, which I explained to you, um, and we have a really big way of controlling the idle. All this stuff will be co or is connected through the DB25 on the back of the ECU in the OEM case. Um, on this connector there is actually like a 5 volt out, there's a sensor ground, there's a knock in, there's a wide band, there's a flex in, there's a vehicle speed sensor in. We can we have like a module that you can use all your four vehicle speed sensors and uh, get them in the ECU so you have really vehicle speed in your ECU. Um, we have a VVT out, we have a boost out, we have canvas for sure, we have an RPM signal, we have digital in, uh, we have spark, two more outputs so you can run full sequential and we have the internal wideband. So, but now we come to the crazy functions. Your OEM ECU does know when you're turning the steering wheel a bit, you know that little pin on top of your power steering pump, so the idle goes a bit up. You push the brake, the idle goes a bit up. You're turning on the AC if you've got one in your NA, and it takes a bit, and then the idle goes up, the AC goes on, and everything is cool. You, the second fan goes on, the idle goes a bit up, and the car stays in idle like perfect, always at 800 RPM. And actually just think you cannot bring this car out of his mood at 800 RPM. So I talked about all this stuff to Demi and we said, okay, we have to find a solution to do this. So Demi said, okay, we just copy an original ECU as for all functions. So in this ECU, we have the sensors. If you're turning on the light, it will not just notice that you're turning on the light. It will turn, it will notice that you're turning on the switch. There is an input. So the idle goes a bit up, the alternator control is more and more powerful, so idle goes a bit up, alternator control is getting a bit more, or the car takes more power from the alternator, take the idle a bit up, and everything is stable back, we just turn the idle back down, which is about 30 to 40 RPM, so it's nothing really crazy like on a normal MS. You're hitting the brake, 
right in the moment you're hitting the brake, the idle knows the valve, ah, oh, I have to open like two or three percent just to keep the idle stable. You're turning the your steering wheel, the power, the, the power steering pump is working a bit more. It's stressful for the idle, so we're turning up the idle, and all this stuff is in the Mini Plus. So this is like an OEM replacement ECU. And in my eyes, it's the best ECU you can use in an MX-5 NA at the market, which is PMP, because I think there's no solution like this on the market. So if you're interested in that, you can order it straight from our web shop with all the stuff you need, and I'm happy to help and happy to assist. It comes with a special firmware, which we designed special for this ECU. And yeah, if you install it, I'm happy to help you per remote and get all the stuff right dialed in. See you in the next video. Bye.